Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is NG Paradox. Of course, we're here in Tibet. With me is the magnanimous Benjamin Magnus. I don't the, know if I'd use that word to describe me. <laughs> and the aphrodisical Commissar Roach. Is that a word? I'm, I don't know if that second one was a word. Yeah. I'm not sure. I try to make a word like aphrodisiac. So you, ooh, Why? Which is... I don't know, it's the first word that popped in my head. I just, <laughs> I thought, okay, first word pops up. Aphrodisical. There we go. Aphrodisical. <laughs> Why? It's like, it's like ver verb form of aphrodisiac. He was magnanimous for me, and I am not humble in any way. No. I, f I think it's because it's your really name not. is Magnus, so it sounded like ma magnanimous. Well, well think, think of it so this that's way. that's what it got me. Ma that's why Magnus it popped in my head first. Magnanimous literally means the great. And magnanimous means your humble. Means humble. <laughs> yeah. Humble the great. <laughs> I, I am I'm Benjamin the great the humble. humbler. I am Benjamin the humble the great. Could you imagine like two people arguing over who's the most humble? I'm the uh, most humble. Yeah, no, I'm it more happens humble. Every single day because that's what our president does. There are clips of him going, I'm the most humble man in the world. I'm the most humble man. You oh, yeah. I have, <laughs> I think I've we're living seen in that, that reality, yeah. for Christ's sake. <laughs> I think I have seen that stuff, yeah. <laughs> like, I think, it's, I think it's a Barbara Walters interview of her going, You know, you're not known for being a humble man. And he's like, I think I'm very humble. I'm the most humble man you could have. Didn't he see? Well, I think it's someone he's like a. I, I'm the best at describing things. I know how to get points across. I'm so good at it that you couldn't understand, or something like that. Because like he he can't, he's saying that they he can't describe it in a way they could understand, even though he's saying he's the best well, describer. I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's rocking like a like an 80 IQ points like level of intelligence. So following his trains of thought are really difficult. I thought it was I thought it was really interesting when he challenged a government official for to an, to IQ, an test. IQ, <laughs> IQ test. IQ yeah. test, yeah. I'm just I, at that point I'm just like what I can't tell if we're in a I can't tell if we're in a simulation at this point. It's this I know, I feel like real. I, I feel like in 2017, I'm like waking up in 2015 only what in the like a Twilight Zone version. It's it, it every every day. It's something new. Here's here's a good way of measuring how far we've fallen, ladies and gentlemen. Think of think of any great statesman. Doesn't matter who of any point in the last two hundred years. You take them to right now and you just read them the five latest headlines. Would they be disappointed in us? <laughs> okay, okay. I think um... we all know the answer to those. <laughs> well. Roach, challenge accepted. Let's, let's go. But you live let's in Florida, see. so it's gonna they're obviously gonna be yeah, disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Hillary Clinton defends L. Franken after sex assault accusations, but doesn't have kind words for Donald Trump. There we go. Done. Right there. there we go. Right there. They'd ask who's Al Franken? Oh, a state senator. Oh, alright then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hillary comes to defend accountable Al Franken. Trump, Hillary, get on with your life. Judge running for Ohio governor boasts on Facebook he's bedded 50 women. Yeah, no. That was... <laughs> Vodka Trump's company shared Thanksgiving advice on Twitter. It did not go well. There you go. Those are the. T I op I opened up Yahoo, and those were the first things that popped up on the homepage. Yep. I, th I think George Washington would be disappointed in us. Oh yeah, rolling in his goddamn grave. <laughs> he's rolling in his he's rolling in his grave so quickly right now. We could use him for perpetual energy. Power. <laughs> <laughs> we could use him as a water wheel. <laughs> Mountain Vernon estate is just glowing right now from the amount of energy being put out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the independence faction is at forty five percent. We're so close. I mean that's that's how long that's what it's been at for a long time now. Well, it's gone. It's gone like down to thirty percent. They went up to fifty percent. It's just, it's kind of been around there. I uh, yeah. Is is but okay. Let, let let me put it this way. Is that a good idea? What? Have independence. Yeah, yeah you being independent yes. right now when you're literally like rubbing your butt up against China. 
Well, no, uh, the Chinese army next. You kind of look at it from the Western Protectorate. They're the ones who are going to attack you. So technically, I'm quite far away from them. In okay. fact, Roach is closer. So Roach is more in trouble. I don't think Roach is in trouble right now. I'm in trouble. You just... No, I didn't mean he's in trouble. I mean, if you're going to say being close to China's trouble, he's closer. Ooh, I lost Paranoid. I, I gained the... I, I fulfilled my ambition to defeat my own fears. Congratulations. Okay. What was that fear? Cows? Oh, build a war chest. If I take the build a war chest doodle, I think that it'll unlock intrigue options to loot the countryside for more money. Right? No? Damn it! I thought it did. <laughs> when you miss the times of Bush and Obama. Yeah, really. Well, I remember, like, uh, G-dubs being around and everyone being like, he's, he's the worst president that's ever had, we've ever had. And now I'm like, you know who I really miss? G-dubs. He wasn't too bad in retrospect. In all honesty, I'm alright with Jeb, because at least it'd be funny. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Mr. I, Mr. Jeb, really please want... please clap. <laughs> Bush. Remember I that? I really want Joe Biden. He's so nice. Uh, didn't he say he wanted to run? Next 20, time? He, thought about, he said he, he mentioned, uh, you know, considering a 2020 gambit. I, I'd be alright with that. He's super, he's super nice. Yeah, I'd be alright with him. It was the only good thing about working at Disney is you get to meet people. I think he should have probably your ran last. Pregnant. <laughs> Yay! You knocked her up. Kudos. Oh, I didn't knock her up. I mean, you yeah, know, like, uh, we're when, married. When, when Biden I wind and Disney, dined it her. It was actually a little freaky because um, uh, Disney. There, I think there's only like three areas in the country that are per like permanent no-fly zones, or four. I think it's Washington D.C., Camp David, Disney World, and Disneyland. Are you sh are you sure Cheyenne Mountain, the home of it's NORAD, isn't also you, you part know, of that? It's it's, it's there's, there's there's but but Dis Disney is a is a strict no fly zone. So when you're working there, you're, you never see planes overhead because they're just not allowed to go over there. And then all of a sudden, you know, I was working at the fucking teacups at the time, and like a formation of like six armed attack helicopters just come like buzzing like 300 feet over the park. I was like. What the fuck is going on? And someone's like, Joe Biden's here. I was like, oh, cool. It's the Cubans! <laughs> that was my first reaction. I was like, Oh, Biden's here? Is he going to come to ride Winnie the Pooh? I want to. <gasps> the independence fashion at 68%. That is a big increase. You do realize you have to actually fight a war, though. Yeah, and win. <laughs> if we get 100%, it means that we have equal uh, power to him, so we could defeat him in battle. That's how it works. Well, percentage... e equal doesn't mean defeat. You you take you take a 40k yeah. stack and a 40k stack and EU4 and put them up against each other and see how often you win that. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying is in like if we're smarter than him, we can win it. Okay. Which maybe we're not, but you know maybe maybe we are. We'll see when the time comes. Why don't you talk about working for Disney some more? That tends to be the best part of the streams. I don't know. You want to know anything specific? Is uh is Mickey Mouse like Kevin Spacey? What? You know, yeah, you know, Kevin Spacey apparently is a bit of a sexual predator. Is Mickey Mouse like that? Well, Mickey Mouse is normally chicks, so. I mean, that doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean no. Yeah, I, I, it doesn't mean no, <laughs> but I don't know how to go. I don't know where to go from there. Mickey Mickey's normally female. What Mickey's normally female? Well, well, yeah, because the you have to be small. Are, yeah. All the costumes are made, and Mickey is uh, a that's small a good point. character. So any of the smaller characters are almost always women inside, and all the larger characters are almost always men, with few exceptions. Okay. So how, any... how how bad are the employee bathrooms? Uh, awful. Yeah, I thought so. Really well. Do the people in the costumes enjoy their job? No, no. <laughs> no. I, oh man. Oh my god. I got to go into my phone. Nobody. Oh, I got to scroll so far back. Nobody who wears a full body <laughs> suit okay, I'm not gonna, during work, like for gonna, an eight-hour shift, enjoys their job. It doesn't matter if they're. That's what I mean. I can't. Doesn't matter if they're working fun. at they got, they got an a, amusement but park. They got to pretend to be like happy and stuff, don't if they? If they're a sports mascot, um, anything, they hate their job. Except for the guy that, except for the guy that uh, 
think it's a bull or somebody for like the Chicago Bulls or something like that. Or no, it's one of them is really, like really loves his job because it is just uh, it's ridiculous how much he uh, like he puts in how much work he puts into it. I had a daughter, Maggiel. Oh, I don't want to give my wife. I don't want to bring any gifts. God damn it! But I got. I'll bring. I'll bring a small perfume box. I have so little money as it is. I was gonna. I was gonna. I mean, there's so many pictures on my phone. It's gonna be so long to go through and find it. But I have. I have a picture of of Tigger sitting backstage. Like he, the guy didn't even bother to take his head off. He was. He's just sitting backstage, sitting in a chair with his feet up and like one hand off with his cell phone in his in his hand. And I remember, I remember sitting down next to him, going, "You okay, buddy?" He just goes, "I hate my life," shaking his big fat cigarette <laughs> head. I got, a, I got a picture of that. I got a picture of that on my phone. Every child's fantasy. It's it's a horrible, horrible place to work. It's horrible. Actually, did you hear? Apparently, they're saying that you know, like with the whole uh, Star Wars Battlefront Two thing that happened. They got rid of the microtransactions? No, they got rid of the microtransactions. <laughs> temporarily. Yeah, temporarily. No, yeah, always never say it without that. that. Always say that. Because if you okay. if you keep saying if anybody yes. keeps saying, Oh, they took him out, then everybody thinks, Oh, okay, well, I don't have to care anymore. No, keep caring. And also, every time you mention it, mention that Disney owns Star Wars, because you know what? That pisses them off when it's negative mm -hmm. press. Because uh, mm -hmm. yeah, apparently they're saying that Disney were the ones who pushed that. No, the the CEO of Disney contacted EA CEO yeah, yeah, this, yeah. and had a talk it with them. They were unhappy. It was like <laughs> everybody's upset with us. We can't have this. Yeah. So so here's the thing. Yeah, it's, it's not it's always not figure good, out who uh, owns the actual publicity. IP and always tag them in your angry tweets and yeah. your videos and everything. Because yeah. you know what, shit that's, gets yeah, that's done. A good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, EO won't do anything, but Disney definitely will. Because Disney do care about... Um, Disney's got a movie coming reputation. up in a month. <laughs> they want, they yeah. want Disney cares good about press. nothing more than its, than its personal image. It doesn't care about anything else other than the image. That's why whenever people sue Disney, they always get a settlement. Always get a settlement. Because they're not, Disney wants... D does not want to have their name in the paper. They just want it to go away. Any amount of money to shut the people up so they don't talk about what happened, like the kid that got eaten by an alligator. Oh yeah. yeah. They what they, they put up a statue in his honor and paid his parents a bunch of money and everything. Oh really? Ah. No, not all. Disney bought them off for their son's life. That, 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 that's that's what I mean. It's like, oh, that's all that happened. Uh. Oh, I thought you were going like, oh, they made a statue. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it is actually kind of nice they gave him a statue. I guess, but yeah, that, then that's what that's not what I meant. That's what I heard. There I was like, oh, he got a statue. It's like, no, he got eaten by an alligator. His parents got a couple hundred. Is this? It's like a, it's a statue of him being eaten by an alligator. <laughs> oh God, it's actually. <laughs> The, I, I th when I read about it, I thought it was actually a statue like of the kid, and I was like, "That's in poor taste." But it's a statue of like a lighthouse where he got eaten. Oh, Ugh. I think that's even in worse taste. <laughs> Just... I don't fucking know exactly. It's nearby there. I'm glad there's no uh, alligators where I live. Oh, they're everywhere here. Ben Sue Disney. Uh, for what? Uh, like. Mental anguish? Do you, do you think do you, do you ever worry Ben about like the mouse guards breaking in your door, like the the militarized oh. branch of of Disney breaking Put in your, your door up. <laughs> and just taking you away late ball. at night? Yeah, like some sort of like just masked like secret police force. <laughs> I, like... I've had I've had like nightmares of just of just working a normal j a day there. <laughs> like, like standing at the. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You know, you, you, have you seen the original uh, Alice in Wonderland? Yes. You know, like, I'm a twenty. Crazy... I'm a mid. I'm in my mid twenties, Ben, and an American. I've seen every Disney thing because my parents thought that was the way to get me to shut up yeah. when I was a kid. Um, there, there's, uh, you know, you know the 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 scenes with the Mad Hatter uh, at at the tea party. The music is just this like crazed assemblage. It's like, it, it's like half orchestral, half like jazz, chaotic music. Mm -hmm. That's what plays 
full blast at the teacup on a 44 second cycle. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just That's great. that. That's like Chinese every, water torture. <laughs> every 44 seconds. Wow. Just those, just that chaotic jumbled noise. Full blast. There's speakers all around it. And that is the most mind numbingly painful, boring place. That was the worst thing I ever did at, at, at Disney was working the teacups because it's, 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 it's hurting retarded three legged cats. I don't know what it was. I will, this is what I'm, I mean, we're 100% uh, honest here. I don't know what it is about that place. But nobody could figure out how the queue worked there. Like, if you're if you were working the entrance way, you're standing next to the only obvious entry to the to the ride. It's got the word entrance with an arrow pointing right down, like at my head, and the, like the wait time right above me. And I've got my little like kiosk of information and stuff next to me. People just come in and go, "Where do I go in?" Right, right here. Right where I'm standing. Read! Right next read! To damn you! Above, above my head. And then it's the queue there is just a series of switchbacks. It's just you go you go there, you go one way, and then you do a 180, 180 return. You go the other. You just go through a couple switchbacks. It's a really short queue because nobody wants to ride that fucking puke train of a ride. And no matter what, like, like I would say 60% of the time, people would get about halfway through the queue and then just stop. And start looking around in circles, and then they like take two steps backwards, and they'd be like, "Oh, there's new people coming in behind me," and then start walking the other way and look confused. And you'd have to go into the queue and be like, "No, no, come this way, follow me." <laughs> no, no. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, and that's that's what you would do for eight, ten, twelve, fourteen hours at a stretch. Was just you you're, you you start here. And it's like, you couldn't tell them to go from point A to point B and, and expect them to get there. They would go from, you'd have to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. You have to go every turn. You'd have to particularly walk. There for and after like five minutes of that, it's just like, oh my God. Oh my God. How are people this stupid? I remember there'd be times where I would turn my back onto the on the people and pretend that I didn't see their predicament just to see how long it would take for them to figure it out. And I'd have all my coworkers going, uh, Ben, Ben, the ride's empty. There's nobody in the ride. We're gonna get in trouble for this. And I'd just be standing there with my arms crossed going, nope, I'm not helping them. They gotta figure this out on their own. They, they gotta figure out how to put on their two pants by themselves. I'm not helping them. And if you know, you just turn to people just walking around with confused looks on their faces. Oh my God. <laughs> It was it was awful. Thank God. I mean, I was I only did uh, I did uh, Winnie the Pooh and teacups for eleven months. Uh, most of the time, I was at the haunted mansion, which was a lot better because then I could just tell people to fuck off, basically, because that was part of the mystique. Was that you were still was the shitty service? To fuck off. <laughs> we, 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 we we called it. It's RBF. so mysterious. RBF resting butler face. It was great. All you got to do, you put on your pissy face. And you just just deadpan give people the answers to the questions. Uh, excuse me, sir. Um, where's the entrance to this ride? It's right here, underneath the sign that says entrance. Next to me, the butler holding the sign that says entrance. The entrance is right here, dead in front of you. Hey, the Seriously? my liege lord gave Seriously? me a new title. I asked for a chiefdom. He gave me a chiefdom. Oh, lucky Isn't that you. lovely? Wait, but can I? I just asked for a title. <laughs> I just did the ambition Wait, that's a, acquire that's a title. Focus. Is, it, is it acquire title of focus? It's an ambition. Oh yeah, it's an ambition. Well, I'm on build war chest right now, which I'm actually getting close to. I have 93 ducats. I've got back some of my armies. Oh, now I've got that castle now. Yay! I'm now, I'm now uh, not barbaric anymore. I'm no longer a savage. That oh, must be great good for you. They're savages, so savages, barely even human. No, we do not sing Disney in this chat. <laughs> <laughs> now we sound the drums of war. The hell is that from? Pocahontas. Uh, Pocahontas, oh. yeah. My sister used to love those Disney films, so she'd like play them on repeat. And I'd be like, ah. My daughter-in-law's being a bitch? 
I'll just leave you be for a while. You're pregos. Maybe not, maybe we'll wait till you crank out a kid before I throw you away. <sighs> why, why, did, why did I agree to this? Why did I agree to do this series? Know. This is horrible. A You're shot all horrible. Every three minutes. A shot every time Ben talks about Disney or Hoi 4. I've been talking about Hoi 4. We've been talking about... Their skins are hellish red. They're only good when dead. Oh my god. They're evil, as I said, and worse. I don't want to spend a hundred... Well, actually, I could, I could spend a hundred ducats to get this guy's land because he's got a castle. But it needs and... to be in your capital. So Why are you spending to, money to, to get a castle? Your capital. So I can move my capital there. That would actually be beneficial because it's a mountain province. Well, my the problem is that if, if you move your province to like a, a, um, a castle, it may makes your other titles oh, the wrong type. No, well, I think I would still be tribal, and then the castle and the, the city would be wrong. Well, the castle would be a wrong holding type. So I'd have to keep... I'd either have to eat the penalty of wrong holding type, or... I Yeah, I'd have to, because I can't have a... Uh, I can't have any subjects right now, because I'm a count. There's nobody lower than that that's playable. So I'd just have to hold on to it and eat the, 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 the doodle. Until you adopt feudalism. Independence is at 80%. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> And he's not doing. Oh no, he is. He's beating the uh, the Chinese invader, Count Di Guan Gid Di Gong. He's a crazy eunuch, apparently. Oh, I just had a flashback of working the parades. <laughs> well, because I said crazy eunuch. No, I just <laughs> just hit. hit I just rem remembered. Like it started getting a little hot in my office, and then I remembered how bad it was working the parades, and. Just, uh, those, those, those were horrible. Those were the days. Although once I saw a stilt walker fall on top of a kid, and that was fucking funny. <laughs> oh man, oh, it was good stuff. Or once the uh, the giant animatronic uh, Maleficent dragon got like stuck at a turn and just like drove off the track, drove off the parade route like into a bunch of. Uh, uh, stanchions. Oh, man. 96 ducats. I could declare war on him once I have a hunt. I need money. I got 96 ducats. I really want to spend them on improvements, but I got to save them up to attack this guy. What that? Serbia is in the wrong place. Serbia? Yeah, go have a look where Serbia is. It's not <laughs> it's in the wrong place. It's like Romania? Part of yeah. the Ukraine? Or, I'm sorry, Ukraine? Well, isn't, what, don't they what? start out as, like, a migratory uh, people? Did you know that people, that Ukrainians get pissed off if you refer to the country as the Ukraine? Well, wasn't that because uh, that's what it was called under the Soviet Union? Apparently that was, like, colloquially what it was known when it was a, uh, you know, a Soviet state. And now they just, they, they, like, they, they, don't, they, they find the the offensive. I guess when you got like you know what's happening with Russia and Ukraine going on at the moment, it's not a surprise. I guess it's probably quite uh, a touchy subject. Why don't I have my chancellor fabricating claims because he's Actually, a zero? <laughs> Did you guys know that the leader of the Ukraine? Sorry, the leader of Ukraine. <laughs> um, he actually, he like owns the I think the most well known chocolate oh, brand in Ukraine. Is there no way I can make uh, one of my? I can't have one of my now. children be my steward. Oh wait, no. You should it's, be it's able she. to if they're in your court. It's a she. Ah, it's <laughs> it's a she. It yes. <laughs> it well uh, yes. Yeah, one of my she... daughters. It is a. It's a girl apparently. Ugh. She's Midas touch. She has a nineteen stewardship, and my current steward's eleven. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Let us celebrate! Diwali! Huzzah! Oh, so many pop-ups! All at once. My, my... Oh, and the cow noises! I've not been getting many pop-ups, actually. Have you decided that the relic would be much sa which are safeguard in my own hands? I must now tackle the task of how to liberate it from the confines of the monastery. I'm stealing a, a relic. 
What? Grab, grab uh, it and are run. You, are bribe you the stealing? abbot for 300 gold. No, grab it and run. <laughs> Are Rabbit you are you run. stealing the foreskin, Ben? I hope so. That stuff makes you fertile as shit. I'm I mean it's you are is, this is you, you are doing it in the Buddhist religion, so I'm guessing it's gonna be something else, like maybe Buddha's foreskin. <laughs> well have, have any of you ever gotten the foreskin of Jesus? I actually don't think I have. I don't think I've ever done it's, it. I got it in my in my last CK2 series, and it was it was great. It's it was like plus fifteen percent fertility, which I couldn't figure out how that worked because all I could think of was was he was he wearing it? <laughs> maybe he like licks it before he does it. I wasn't gonna go there. I, I, I... Oh, so wearing it is is is, is, not, is the least bad at that. Of those two. I don't know why. I don't know why they thought that having the foreskin of Jesus would make you more fertile. I don't know why that was the modifier they went with. Well, let's oh, be honest God. here. Maybe. Let's be honest here. What is it gonna be? <laughs> what? What? Maybe, maybe they feel um, like you know, Jesus. What Jesus was a man who fucks. That that was it. Just it, well, it, it, rub, the, it rubs off on you. Is it the whole? Oh God! I'm gonna say, is it the whole Christian thing that Jesus doesn't have a like a child direct line of descendants? Well, the, 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 in the in the Christian belief, there is no children of Jesus. I don't think he has sex at all in the Bible. I think that's kind of the point. You know, he's you know holy because oh, you know, obviously shit. in in Christianity you think you shouldn't have sex before marriage, and obviously Jesus never got married. All right, I'm murdering a, a, a priest. Great. I have done it. I have the relic, and there is no not a scratch out of me. I have covered my own tracks as best I can. Nobody seems to suspect it. Who that it was I who killed. This dude and took the artifact. <laughs> I murdered him. Adds, okay. I added. I got a bone. Whose bone did I get? Uh, this is a bone that once belonged to Buddha himself. Yeah, there you go. I told you something about Buddha. Oh wow, that's a good one. Quality three Buddha bone. Monthly prestige point one. Monthly karma point two five. Learning three. This bone makes me smart. Oh, I just got a title. <gasps> oh. Guys, the independence faction's at 149%. Okay, that could set it. off at any point. No, it's not. I'm not in charge of it. Someone oh, else's. So, guys, if you want to be part of independence and glory, no, join it now, quickly. Roach. No. If it goes off without you, you're going to be left behind. I'm okay, I'm with, okay that. with that. <laughs> fine, fine. We'll I've be independent. I've been killed too many times. You should feel the there. same way. Nah, we'll succeed. 148%, that's a lot of men. He's fighting in three wars right now, and he's losing all of them. He's only got 2,000 men left. So doesn't that mean that as soon as his wars are over, he'll start regaining his strength, so it has to go now? Yeah, hopefully they set it off now. If they set it off now, now would be perfect, because he's in three other wars, so that means they can just add on to that. So it could be very useful, because he's distracted. Oh, I think that's the priest I murdered. Was he? Is he come back to haunt you? No, I just saw. I just saw one, a character. You, uh, your acquaintance died under suspicious circumstances. No, I murdered him while I was stealing a bone of Buddha. Give me back the bone. He's gonna come back and try and take it back. He's gonna haunt you till your end of days, Ben. Uh, you killed okay him that. for a bone, Ben. You killed a man for a bone. Just think about uh... that. Just think I, about I, what you did. I mean, I'm fine with that. We're playing Crusader Kings 2 here. <laughs> you killed a man for a bone, Ben. That, that'll that never leave you. That's going to haunt you for the rest bone. of your life. God damn it, why? Thanks for thanks for joining the stream. Good morning to you, too. I just remembered uh, the Emperor's heir is actually my son. I keep forgetting that. So then, what you could... Shouldn't you're like... I, mean, I imagine if your goal is to get into power here... Your goal should be to murder the emperor, then commit suicide, so that you become your son, who's the emperor. No, I can't. I can't because his son is is the the wife told the emperor that it's his son, so that child right. is of his so dynasty. We are over so it's time. Not your son. No, technically not, but it is actually my blood son. It has my blood in it. All right, we are over time. This is you, Perry. Or paradox. I know.
Okay, guys, thank you for joining us. I uh, hope you guys will be back next time. And uh, we'll see you then. Toodles. Goodbye. Bye.